This is Twit. This is a concept that we have seen for over a decade. It is something that has so much promise, and yet sometimes it has been a little bumpy as far as adoption and implementation is concerned. Thank you very much for coming to see us. Now, of course, you've got your gear set up here, and uh, we are speaking... Well, listen, this is Asher. That's he right. He co-founded Blade. Blade is doing online gaming, and... I mean, you're saying you're giving the equivalent of a GTX 1080, Ooh. a Xeon or an i7 equivalent so processor. So-called dedicated call that you're getting, and you're getting basically equivalent to $2,000 PC that will mm -hmm. always stay. Was that $2,000 with current 1080p value, MSRP of 1080p, or the value four weeks ago? It's the value usually <laughs> before the high rise when you can find the, where you cannot find even for $1,000 uh, GTX 1080. Yeah. So how much am I paying a month so you're paying $35 per month, okay. and you're getting a computer that you can access it from everywhere, okay. from any device, any screen. L actually, let's make that clear, because some people might think, oh, it's, it's just games on tap. This is a full Windows 10 desktop. It's exactly. I don't know if they can see the screen here, but basically here we have the shadow box. So the shadow box is optional, and it can replace your desktop PC. So the goal of a shadow is that you will feel that the Windows is running here on this small box. Right. Even if this small box is taking only 15 watts of power and basically it's doing nothing than just to decode the video stream that's arriving from the cloud. So, as you can see, we're getting a full Windows here. We have dedicated components that we're getting from the cloud. Mm -hmm. And unlike other solutions in the past, we are doing end-to-end -end solution, which means that we are building our own servers. We're putting them in our own rooms in the mm -hmm. data centers. So we can give a dedicated component to each user. So you are not sharing your graphic card with other users. You are not sharing your CPU cores with oh, other wow. users. You're getting your own. Uh, your own components, so you will always have the same level of high performance. Okay, we, we have, you got to switch to this because yeah. I mean, I'm watching his movement, and it actually is. I don't see you much can lag. You play uh, yourself if you want to. Feel In it. fact, the uh, lag that I see, I could, I could probably attribute to the fact that it's going through a switcher, the TriCaster, exactly, a scaler, and, it's and then capturing back here. the screen also. Yeah, <laughs> and that's run off a cliff really quickly. Mm -hmm. Now, when I when I install this on a, on a five year old laptop, I have an Acer S7 that uh, you know it's an ultrabook. It's it had no power when it was new, and now it's yeah. very long in the tooth. I was able to run modern games. I was exactly. able to run you can Call play, of Duty, uh, and it you can shouldn't. play the last Far Cry Five on a five year laptop on the max setting of Far Cry, and you can run it on a 4K resolution or 144 FPS, and we are the only one in the market because we did an end-to-end -end solution. It's also, we developed all the software that's doing the capturing, encoding, and streaming, and we succeed to achieve to less than three milliseconds for the most complicated frame of 4K. So this is not this is not a shared server. This is not a virtual machine. This is an actual. As as actually, Father Robert ran into saying that you're actually configuring Windows 10 when you when you set up your account, and you're actually getting your own dedicated GPU. Exactly, you're getting your own fully dedicated for your GPU. You're getting your own CPU cores and your own memory, and you're getting 256 gigabyte of storage, and you're getting a full Windows 10. So you can install Steam, you can install Origin, you can install any platform and download all your games and play them directly on a full setting. Do you have to put colo centers all over the, I mean, are, is the United States, the world, what's the, where are you guys currently So selling? right now we launched in uh, West Europe uh, last year, mm -hmm. and now we're doing soft launch here in California to really familiar and getting uh, all the information about the internet infrastructure here, mm -hmm. uh, how to deal with it, how to, to learn also the market. The, the gamers sure. here are actually very different from the gamers in uh, Europe. Okay. Uh, so we, we're learning, we're interacting with our community, and the, until this summer we're going to cover all the uh, US uh, nationwide. Okay. Okay, yeah. I, I, I have to ask this, uh, because I, I get the value proposition. The value proposition is, I pay $420 a year, and I get a PC that is automatically updated. So it's Always updated on your side. Or 50 bucks a month. Or 50 bucks a month. Or $35, basically, yeah. for, uh, yeah. for Yeah, if for you yeah. want to go month to month. Yeah. But then, and Patrick brought this up in the pre-show, I have to be concerned about what I've seen happen to other streaming services where they were all killed by lag. Yeah. Every single one of them was killed by lag because you can't do a high-performance, Twitch-capable gaming system over just the regular latency that you're going to get on the internet. So how do you fix that? I mean, obviously, I can't do that with RDP, so this is an RDP. Yeah. But 
what do you have? What's your secret sauce? So basically, like I said, because we develop end-to-end -end solution, we are also doing our own protocols for the streaming that's capable to reach much, much better results than any standard streaming so far. And actually, so far, the biggest blocker was not on the network itself, but was on the capturing and encoding and all this mm. process that's taking more time than the network. The network, you can simply overcome it by placing data centers next to the end client, okay. not far yeah. away, to have a good peering agreement with all the internet providers like Comcast, AT&T, all of those, and to have peering on the other side now. So it seems like we are not, it. you have already thought about all of the trauma that we have run through <laughs> in all the previous gaming services. But look, for example, yeah. what's a small advantage that we give to you. I don't know what's your internet speed here. I guess it's around 200 megabit or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we've so got a decent connection. If you're going here, but actually here we are from our data center. So we use you use your computer, even if you have 15 megabit at your home, mm -hmm. you're still getting download speed of one gigabit oh, per second. Okay. You're getting super low ping time. So actually, when you're playing online game and competitive games, you're getting lower ping than your local PC because you, we have a direct. You're basically sitting in the colo and not dealing with all of the, exactly. the cruft at the ISP. So I can, and, and we talked about this before. This isn't just gaming. If I want to run Adobe Premiere on this, I can do it's that. If I want to run, okay, it's your Windows 10. You can install whatever you want on it. But much more than that, you can start to play. On your, in your room, in mm -hmm. your shadow box, and then you need to go to the kitchen. I can take my tablet. I can launch either iOS, either Android. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see the tablet here. I'm launching the shadow app, and I can continue. I can directly continue to play on the tablet. This is getting pretty meta at this point. <laughs> I don't know if you ever saw this kind wait, of level wait. of graphic on what a $200 tablet. <laughs> Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually and we can play directly without any latency, any kind of game for PC, directly on the tablet. And much more than that, you can take your smartphone. So this is my personal iPhone. I don't know if you can see the screen of it. But we are on LTE connection. We are not on the Wi-Fi. We are directly on the LTE connection. And I can launch the Shadow application. And here we have the Shadow Beyond, which you know it's not easy to use the Windows UI directly on a on a phone screen. So it shows me all the games that I have installed on my screen, my uh, computer, and I can launch them directly. So we can do launch the Tomb Raider, and I can play directly on my iPhone without any latency, any lag on a 4G connection. Okay, and that looks really really good. I, I'm just gonna say that. And wow. you can do it any kind of uh, in any kind of place in the underground in the in the street. You can continue to play whatever you want directly, and of course on a Mac uh, computer, which is very nice design computer. I love the design of this computer. The weight, the screen is amazing. But there's no Windows key. But exactly, <laughs> you don't have. You know, actually, you can do the command keys uh, switching to be uh, the Windows key, but. You can finally play any kind of Windows game directly on the Mac screen, mm -hmm. on, on the nice Retina display. It's affecting immediately, and you can have full Windows. So you can put your Photoshop, you That's can the do part all I your tools. Yeah. I, I love the fact that I had a full Windows environment. I exactly. Because I can install anything on top of that, and it gives me a super capable machine. Now, I know that when I first started up the client, it asked me about my bandwidth conditions. Uh, I know it's like 31 is a magical number, right? If I can get to 31, then I get the next level up. Uh, but what? 31 megabits per 31 second. 31 megabits so, per second. Okay. I, but I, I've run it on 20 megabits per second just yeah. fine. What's the lowest they can go and still get a decent experience? So now, basically, on the beta version, we're testing uh, the 5 megabit connection. Five. And what you saw here, actually, on the iPhone, it's a 5 megabit connection. Uh, you can see on the setting here, basically. Uh, and this is this is a beta version for the Android, and it can go down up to uh, we can go from five megabit up to fifty megabit uh, per second. So here we are on the five megabit per second, and it can uh, so we asking basically for minimum of fifteen one five megabit per second from the client to make sure that if is why for someone else watching Netflix or that, that they will still have enough uh, bandwidth to keep the system stable and that they will not get the effect of the previous uh, solution that was not uh, stable enough. Uh, 
And we always, of course, monitoring the traffic on the client to see how much bandwidth we have available at uh, exactly moment. Mm. We also developed a nice application that's measuring the jitter and the gap between the UDP packets that's arriving. So when we think ah. that packet starting to go out of order or when we think that the, uh, the gap is not stable, then we know that there is a storm coming mm -hmm. and then we can adjust the bandwidth and because we are doing the encoding in live, unlike YouTube and Netflix that have several preset stream mm -hmm. that they can switch between them, we have all the 1000 parameter of the H264 yeah. and H265 encoding that we can play and change with them to adjust it directly to your bandwidth. That, that actually answered one of the questions I had because I was wondering how you were doing this. You just mentioned you were using UDP. Yeah. So this is not a consistent con connection. You're, you're basically blasting out packets. What do you have on the other side to make sure those packets get assembled in the right order? So that's exactly exactly the program that we have that's monitoring the packets and making sure that every packet arrives at the end right. because like you said on UDP you have no security yep. at all that yep. the packet will arrive. So, and this program is always in connection and this is happen on a TCP channel, it's always in connection back to the So you've got a TCP the IP control channel and then you're using UDP for, for the all streaming the, uh, okay. and all that the data, exactly. That makes sense. So what is the website if people are now slavering with desire to get onto <laughs> a... a so, if you're in California, you mm -hmm. can go to shadow.tech uh, and you can order directly and get it uh, now directly your shadow box. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the shadow box, uh, it's available, uh, so you can get the service on any platform. Mm -hmm. We have clients for Windows, you don't for need Android, the box. you don't need the it's box. It's an option. The box, we just finished the FCC. A certification mm -hmm. right now so we are going to start to sell it very soon also in the US but for now you can use it on Windows you can use it directly on your smart TV you can play 4k on mm -hmm. your TV without any console connected to your TV without anything connected to your TV you've even Every, got it on, on a shield here you can even <laughs> you can have it on the shield you can See, have uh, it that on, that's kind of mm. cool a full Windows 10 box on a shield <laughs> finally box. something yeah. useful <laughs> to do with my shield <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, I, and I think Patrick and I are both on the same point here. This is, it's a great presentation. The technology looks fantastic in this test. We're going to be cautiously optimistic because, again, we've seen technologies like this die, but I do like the fact that you are using UDP. Mm -hmm. I do like the fact that you have a control channel. I do like the fact that this is so multi-platform and that you were willing to show it off here over a Wi-Fi network. Yeah. That yeah. kind of, you know, that kind of Studio shows Studio Wi-Fi network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, I mean, we still, we're still improving the product every day. We're working, we're getting the feedback, we, we, we're fixing the, the small issues that say users encounter. Uh, but already today we have 20,000 users in uh, West Europe. We s basically sold, last month in France, we sold 20% of all the new gamers wow. PC that was wow. selling nationwide in France. And we are not selling a PC actually, we're selling a yeah. service. Uh, so I feel confident <laughs> that if it was not working, people would not be buying it. Still. Exactly. <laughs> They'd be exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and really, the only limiting factor is as you start getting clumps of customers, you move into those local data centers. Exactly. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, now we are in the process of building a data center on the east coast, on the center, on, the, on the, the south east coast, and all around to make sure that on the end of summer we will have a nationwide coverage. In you US. know, if, if you got into a couple of mobile ISPs data centers and got a zero rating from them, it would make everything even more popular. <laughs> yeah, I'm still just, throw that out there. Just, yeah. Thank you very much for speaking Thank with us. Thank much. you very much for sharing this. Again, let's, let's give you some plug time. Where do you want them to go if they want to test out Shadow and, uh, and everything else you've got? So you can go directly now to shadow.tech. You can register there. You can download the application for all the platform possible, for Android, for iOS, for, a, for a Mac OS, for Windows. And you can play right now any game you want on any machine you want, even if it's a five years old laptop. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm sold. Asha, thank, thank you, you so very much. much.